Hello and welcome to the South Gloucestershire Dementia Roadmap Tour. This screen shows the national portal where users across the country can access their local dementia roadmaps. As you can see in front of you, we've developed so far three local roadmaps in the southwest. They're Devon, North Somerset and South Gloucestershire. Today we're going to have a look at the South Gloucestershire Dementia Roadmap in more detail. This screen shows the home page and as I scroll down we can see more details about the roadmap. The fact that the roadmap aims to provide high quality information about the dementia journey alongside local information about services, support groups and care pathways. The main audience for the roadmap is staff working in primary care. That's GPs, nurses, dementia navigators, practice managers and others. However, we also think that the roadmap will be of benefit to other professionals supporting people with dementia, people with dementia themselves and their families and carers and also those people who might be worried about memory problems. On each page of the roadmap, over on the left hand side, we have a, a navigation menu which is split into seven topics and these seven topics are designed to reflect the stages of the dementia journey starting with uh, awareness and understanding um, about dementia, perhaps through to people who are, have concerns or worried about their memory. Then we've got the diagnostic process, post-diagnosis post support, living well with dementia, a section on carer health and planning for the future. As we scroll down the home page, we can see that those seven topics are repeated in the main body of the page along with a description explaining to users what they can expect, the type of information they can expect to see in each of those sections. As we scroll down further we can see on the left hand side a collection of popular resources and on the right hand side a collection of groups. Resources are things like clinical guidance, useful fact sheets, clinical support tools, groups are things like local support groups, uh, perhaps memory cafes, uh, singing for the brain groups, uh, local sporting and activity clubs, that type of thing. I'm going to scroll back up now and um, have a little bit more look, a closer in-depth look at some of the resources and groups that we have in here. Let's start with um, understanding dementia. As we move into a main section such as this, we can see that subtopics are revealed in the left-hand menu. So here we can see we've got early stages, later stages, mild cognitive impairment and unusual behaviours. Over on the right hand side uh, we explain a little bit more about what we mean um, and what users can expect to see in this section. So this section is going to provide users with a better understanding about the causes um, of the symptoms and the main treatments for, 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 for dementia and the different types of dementia. As we scroll down the page, once again we can see a collection of resources and groups are available to us. I'm going to click on uh, a resource here. Let's have a look at something like this. This resource um, is a fact sheet produced by the Family Caregiver Alliance which provides some practical tips um, for dealing with uh, unusual behaviours and communications problems that can um, often be encountered when caring for a person with dementia, particularly in the later stages. Here we've got the top tips laid out and also there's a fact sheet that users can download and this obviously will be helpful to both professionals dealing with um, people with dementia but also their, their carers. As we scroll down the page we can see the, top, the various topics that this particular resource has been placed in and also a few, few further details about the resource such as the, the author, publisher and the format. Now let's move into a different section. Let's go and have a look at the diagnostic process. So when we move into the diagnostic process we can see uh, an image along with a description uh, about this section and we've got resources and groups outlined again. Here let's have another look at a resource. This time we'll look at a, a resource which is very specific to uh, South Gloucestershire. The, the resource that we saw previously, the uh, 10 tips for communicating, is the type of resource that's probably going to be available in all of the local roadmaps across the country because those tips are going to be valid, uh, communication tips are going to be valid wherever you are. However, this type of resource, such as the Dementia Information Prescription, 
is uh, very specific to South Gloucestershire. It provides a list of key services, organisations, and contact telephone numbers um, for people who think they may have been uh, may have dementia, or they've been diagnosed with dementia, or their carers. And so users can read more about this. They can download the dementia information prescription, and down the bottom we can see further information about it. Now let's go uh, back one and have a look at a corresponding group in this section. So we're going to have a look at the South Gloucestershire Memory Service. And one of the first things that we'll notice about the group is that distinguishes it from a resource is that over on the right hand side we have um, the contact information for the memory service. The address is plotted on a map. We've got the telephone number, website, Usually we have other uh, other contact in details such as email addresses. Um, it might be a, a Facebook for social group might have a Facebook page, for example, or they might have a, a a Twitter handle, that type of thing. And we've got the description of the group. And as the user scrolls down, we can see further information about the group, um, including the topics. And once again, the different types uh, and the publishers organizations associated with this particular group. Let's now have a look in post-diagnosis support. Once again we've got the image and the description followed by a collection of resources and um, groups. So as we move down here this time I'm going to have a look at this particular resource optimizing treatment um, and care for behavioral and psychological symptoms of dementia. This um, particular resource provides evidence-based advice for practitioners who are caring for people with dementia who may have uh, behavioral or psychological symptoms. Um, it's a kind of practical informative tool aimed at practitioners with an emphasis on encouraging them to uh, use uh, alternatives to drug treatment. So the, the user um, can download, read about it, download it, browse um, the other resources that are in the same topics and also um, click on various things underneath. So here, let's have a look. Um, let's click on the Alzheimer's Society as an example. Um, this now shows all of either the resources that the Alzheimer's Society have published that are in this particular roadmap, or the groups that the Alzheimer's Society is involved with running um, that are in this particular roadmap. So we can see um, there's a fact sheet about driving and dementia. Um, there's details of the singing for the brain group over in Down End or the Patchway Dementia Action Alliance, etc. Okay, let's go back one now and click on guidance. So here we can see another what, what we know is a kind of taxonomy. It's a collection of co uh, related resources. So these resources are related by the fact that they've been given the label of being guidance. Um, so we've got guidance on, on performing uh, health checks for carers, guidance on support for commissioning of dementia care. Then there's guides perhaps aimed more at carers, a guide to selecting a care home and um, choosing hospital and that type of thing. Let's go back um, a little bit further and now let's have a look at a, another group. Here we go. Just showing you there that when we've got a long list of groups or resources um, displaying beneath this filter box. I can start typing in there and what will happen is the list will automatically respond to um, the the words that I'm typing in and so therefore I've got as far as typing dementia sub eventually we get the dementia support South Gloucestershire listed. Another example of a group here the, the the team here help people with dementia to maintain their independence and improve their sense of well-being, uh, live in their own homes, take control of their own lives. Once again, we've got the description of the service and the contact details over on the right-hand side. And further down, we've got details uh, such as the group type, etc. Now, I'm just going to whiz back up to the top and just show you finally some uh, searching I'm going to search for a memory cafe and searching for a memory cafe here lists the uh, memory cafes that we've got in South Gloucestershire and let's try something else something a little bit more specific uh, assessment of cognition let's click on this here we've got um, a resource the general practitioner assessment 
of cognition, which is one of the recommended uh, cognitive function tests that practitioners can use to screen for dementia in a primary care setting. And this type of resource obviously does emphasize the fact that this that the roadmap is primarily aimed at primary care staff and practitioners. However, as I said, I do think um, carers and people with dementia or people worried about their memory will also find this useful. Once again, just by way of illustration, clicking on cognitive test, we can see we can reveal a, a whole collection of, of related resources, in this case, cognitive tests that are available. Finally, um, I'm just going to show you, let's have a look. Uh, search for Patchway. Um, let's have a look at the Patchway Dementia Action Alliance. One of the things I wanted to show here was to demonstrate the responsive design. What I'm doing here is I'm just resizing my um, browser window. So I'll just do that in front of you and hopefully you'll begin to see that the screen, the elements that are displayed on the screen, are beginning to um, respond to the screen width. So I'm mimicking now um, what the roadmap would look like when viewed through a tablet device such as an iPad. And if I get even smaller and go to the very minimum screen width, we can now see um, that this is what the roadmap would look like on a mobile phone. And so we can see that the, uh, the roadmap views equally well on a mobile and a tablet and finally a desktop and the reason for that was that the primary care staff that worked with us to design the roadmap told us that they would primarily access the roadmap using um, mobile phones or tablets they may use desktops as well but we, we needed to de design it with that in mind Okay, that's all for this whirlwind store, uh, whistle stop tour of the uh, South Gloucestershire Dementia Roadmap. I'll be back with future tours and other useful guides for, for practitioners to get the best out of the roadmap.